Use the remote control to raise and lower the suspension, then return to the driving level. It works even with the ignition off as long as there's air in the system. Use the remote control here to set the ride height. This is the up control with its activation light. And this is the down control with its activation light. To store a height, press the button for at least 5 seconds. And to retrieve the memory, press for 3 to 5 seconds. After changing from the default driving position, press this button to return the vehicle to the right height. When starting, and when you exceed 10 km an hour, the vehicle automatically returns to the default drive height. If you want to climb a high kerb or go into a very low tunnel, do not exceed 10 km an hour to retain a stable position. However, ensure you return to the level after a loading phase to limit tyre friction on the mudguards. And finally, use the stop button to stop all movement. Suspension adjustment can still be active even with the ignition off. Simply activate the standby control after modifying the height. This function lets you save battery power and close your vehicle. On a model with integral suspension, you can also select the various front and rear axles, store their height and monitor the adjustments via the selection lights. On a model with lift axles, press the top of the switch to lift the axle. The indicator light on the dashboard comes on. Press the bottom of the switch to lower the axle. In auto position, the axle lifts automatically above 5 km an hour if the vehicle is lightly loaded. The load shedding control optimizes vehicle traction. Press the button once to load the axle to maximum. Press again to overload to gain more traction and get out of difficult situations as long as you keep below 30 km an hour. Start line. The keys to a winning start.